Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to a news edition of the Garn Report. The NBA releasing its all-defensive team uh, for 2023-24. And it includes two Celtics. Derek White, Drew Holiday, as expected, make the second team here. uh, Finishing 8th and 10th out of the 10 players, respectively. White and Holiday. uh, Both in this new uh, positionless voting system fail to make the first team uh, probably have to imagine at least one of them would have under the old system where you have two guards and three front court players uh, but instead the center filled team on the first team uh, gobert the defensive player of the year led all vote getters followed closely by Wembenyama, the runner-up in dpoy bam out of bio of course uh, deservedly in that top five herb jones uh, off a great year leading a Upstart Pelicans defense that uh, joined some of the best in the league in the second half. Uh, He is the lone backcourt player. I guess you could call him a forward maybe uh, on that first team. And Anthony Davis, a big part of that Lakers defense this year, rounds out the first team. Caruso, Thugs, lead the vote getters on the guard heavy second team. Derek White uh, received 15 first place votes, 68 Second team votes, uh, the most second place votes given to any player in this vote. Uh, Jane McDaniels follows him with uh, 54 second place votes. Drew Holiday receives six first team votes, uh, 24 second team votes, uh, gets in with 36 points here. Uh, for Holiday, his sixth all defense appearance in his career, uh, sixth over the last seven years. An incredible run he's been on. He's made three. All first teams in 18, 21, and 23. Uh, this is his third second team appearance, 19, 22, and 24. Uh, so I guess that actually goes back a little longer to 18. But still, six uh, all defensive awards over eight years. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive stuff there uh, from Holiday, who was great all year, guarding centers. In many ways, the quarterback of the defense, play calling, uh, and put up good stats on that end too. White, I'm actually going to call a little bit of a snub on the first team side there. Among the uh, block leaders in the NBA period, certainly among guards this year, uh, doing it all, uh, taking on huge assignments, uh, and drawing charges regularly as he always does there. I would have had him first team uh, certainly there, but he fell well short of that. And of course, again, these centers have a much larger responsibility. There's more of an uphill battle to a guard making these kind of lists here. So not totally unexpected with the way they changed the system. I don't love it. Uh, and I gave some thought to the positionless system here. And I don't love the way it panned out here. This is so different from past years. I feel like we're totally changing the system here. Uh, the argument, of course, being that there aren't positions anymore in many ways, but uh, four of those guys undoubtedly play the same position on that first team side there. Uh, so in the past, that probably would have been three guys rather than four. So not a huge difference in this case, but we're definitely going to see one tomorrow with the All-NBA teams when those roll out. Uh, as for snubs here, other vote getters, Jalen Brown uh, comes, what are we talking here? Ninth. I think I got that right. Ninth among the uh, honorable mentions here went Dort, Leonard, Holmgren, Allen, Gilgis, Alexander, Giannis, Caldwell, Pope, Lopez, Brown. Brown gets three first place votes, one second place vote. Uh, And you got to go a little further down to find Tatum, uh, who finished 16th among uh, the honorable mentions here. Two second place votes, no first place votes for Tatum. Both players, of course, coming into this season. Uh, wanted to make the all defensive team and is there an argument for either one of those guys over the 10 here probably not uh, but you d- did have to think they would get a little bit more uh, credit or uh, votes than this and they did not ultimately here i think brown in particular who uh, maybe off ball still has his struggles on ball had a great year resurgent year on that end so Worthy of honorable mention, at the very least, in his case, a renewed focus on defense from him, certainly. Tatum probably didn't have a case. 
this was a solid defensive season for him. I don't think it was anything outstanding uh, worthy of being all defense here. But this was certainly the second uh, ranked defense in the league here that didn't have a first team um, all defense player here. And uh, Chris Porzingis, of course, ineligible for this because of the new games played rule. So he didn't get any votes because you weren't allowed to vote for him. I, th I think he certainly would have gotten more love here for being the anchor of this defense at center there. Uh, so that's worth noting here as well. White Holiday, though, representatives on the second team, two second team guys, uh, maybe befitting of that second overall defense in the league. And it's carried on into the playoffs here. So I don't think there's too much to be mad about here. We'll see what the All-NBA voting tomorrow. Of course, the big intrigue going to be whether Tatum makes uh, first team and whether Brown makes an appearance on any of the uh, three teams there for the second straight year. Nothing bearing there on the contracts. Tatum's already earned the ability to make a Supermax contract extension this uh, or sign a Supermax contract extension this summer. They'll start in 2026. Brown already signed his and did not need to make another one to uh, get that. So they're all set from that perspective. Uh, and that's it. We got game one tonight, Pacers Celtics, eight o'clock coverage coming from the garden. Uh, and post-game coverage on the Garn Report here. Stay tuned, and it's brought to you by Prize Picks. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use the code CLNS for 100% deposit match up to $100. Uh, pick more, pick less, two players or more. It's that easy. Go check out prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Need some tickets tonight? Go download the Game Time app. Great deals. Only a couple hours to go until game time here, and that's usually the best time to score a deal. I don't think the tickets are too expensive tonight for an East final. So go over to game time, try to score yourself a deal if you want to go, and use the code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply over there. And check out PXG. It's 80 outside today. Great afternoon to golf. And if you missed out today, go out there tomorrow, get your PXG gear, and save 10% at checkout uh, on pxg.com slash garn report use that code garn report pats polos tees all kinds of great stuff over there at pxg i'm bobby manning there's been a news edition of the garn report drew holiday Derek white all defensive second team uh, in 2024 see you tonight